Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel Perfume Guru. Today we have some really interesting unique scents from the uh, indie perfume house Svensk Parfum which is based in Sweden and uh, Henrik was kind enough to send me 30 ml perfumes uh, for examination. He, he had already sent me a sample set last year I believe and I thoroughly enjoyed these perfumes. I had also done a live video on Facebook long back and many people watched it but I could never really um, make a review until now. So. I'm talking about these two fragrances which have actually touched me and first one is Prakt. It's basically a fruity uh, kind of fragrance and Saddle is a leather based fragrance. So we'll talk about Saddle first. So Saddle is basically uh, the Swedish word for actual Saddle. So you expect leather and metal and uh, uh, you expect it to be a masculine fragrance, right? And uh, strangely, the notes have more gourmand accords rather than these uh, leathery or musky or woody, intense woody accords that you would find in a masculine perfume. So the notes are leather, obviously expected butterscotch, very unique note in perfumery. There's caramel, vanilla, common notes and there's tobacco. So obviously this fragrance is meant for men. At least it's trying to be a masculine fragrance. What I get from this fragrance, I've already sprayed it so that the alcohol evaporates and all I am left with is the smell of perfume. It's obviously a very uh, dry, spicy uh, and uh, almost uh, it has a rum like character. I mean that alcohol like character. You can you can smell uh, the boozy character of this fragrance. It's because of the combination of vanilla, butterscotch and uh, alcohol. Obviously, there's the leather adding to the dryness uh, and the smokiness. You know, it has that tarry, ashy kind of accord, which you also find with most incense-based perfumes. But it's not at all familiar in any way. It's not like these Arabic fragrances. It's not like these uh, intense um, uh, niche gourmand scents. It's not like that. It's a very unique, dry, spicy. Uh, in fact, it's, it's quite an airy affair. It's a very airy perfume and it's got some really nice piney quality to it and uh, I, I also go as far as saying it has a lot of cedar in it, it's a lot of cedar wood in it and the best thing that I like about this perfume is that it never gets too nutty or vanilla like or candy like so it has a lovely uh, sophisticated and um, spicy sort of profile. When I wear this fragrance, I get a lot of compliments. That's one thing which I really enjoy because it's something which is comforting, but at the same, very suitable for the public because usually my, ten, my taste tends to uh, go towards these uh, awkward, publicly uh, uh, awkward scents like ouds and whatnot. So this is one fragrance which is uh, spicy, uh, masculine, uh, intense, yet it has a light, airy, crispy. Crispy is the right adjective I would uh, I would use, uh, I should use. So it has a very crispy sort of profile and definitely reminds you of a, a, a colder climate. That is why I feel these scents, most of the scents from, the, from this Swedish house uh, have this um, cold weather um, temperament or attitude. So these are not really summery scents. I have worn this scent last year, so I can tell you that, especially in these uh, uh, mid periods where it's not really too cold, you'd uh, enjoy wearing these scents more, especially during the, uh, the, the spring season, you would love the dry crispness of this fragrance. And yet it has this nice, uh, slightly gourmandish touch, the beautiful combination of butterscotch and leather, uh, which 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 makes you uh, feel very comfortable. It has a very comfortable feeling, and it's not at all fluffy. It's not at all stuffy or too sharp or astringent in nature. And uh, anyone who loves these dark, spicy perfumes, they'll definitely enjoy it. Now, there's something about it which is quite basic or quite ordinary. It's the linear profile. None of the Swens Parfum have that depth, although the ingredients are of very high quality, you can tell when you sniff the fragrance and uh, they will definitely uh, not smell like uh, your basic niche perfumes. Yet, there's, yet these perfumes are very linear, I would say, so, so there's not too much play, there's not a lot going on, it's not like uh, 
weaving a complex story but at the same time i see the price and i think it's kind of justified it's somewhere around 100 us dollars for 30 ml some people might find it expensive but i think it's 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 a very high quality scent but at the same time i would also say that i do not get any of these um, extraordinary accords out of this because i'm i'm someone who always is looking out for exotic perfumes rich smelling perfumes sophisticated kind of perfumes so it does not have that lovely uh, aura about it or mystery about it yet i i will say that this is one of my uh, favorite fragrances when i'm when i'm outdoors and especially if i'm dressed properly i love wearing this fragrance because a it is not offensive at all and b it's not like one of these cheesy designer fragrances so that's saddle for you guys let's move on to the next fragrance i think this is more interesting than saddle because saddle has a um, slight serious character and you can tell by the color of the liquid inside this one's darker and this one's slight uh, pale green prakt is a very friendly fragrance and in fact it's more likable from uh, the word go when i first uh, sprayed this fragrance i got a huge hint of uh, raspberries and yes that's what i'm getting now it's it's a very intense fruity accord some may find it uh, a little too spicy for for the liking because um, some of these fragrances uh, especially those fragrances which use the tomato leaf accord or the rhubarb spice accord you will find a similarity with that and um, it's I, i'll tell you honestly it's not one of my favorite fragrances uh, perfume accords yet the perfume has been blended very beautifully uh, i think there's a lovely aquatic melony sort of character to this fragrance and at the same time you can almost feel the pulp of the raspberry so if you love raspberries you love this fragrance uh, i for one would not buy a bottle of this uh, until i'm fully convinced and i am not at all convinced till now but i think anyone who loves such kind of fragrances they'll truly enjoy the craftsmanship it's very natural smelling it's not at all off putting because with such perfume accords i've i've seen some some bad disasters out there in the market i have i had blind bought some of those so that adds to my misery but uh, still i think prakt is a very uh, rich and a playful fragrance it's unlike the grave saddle especially this fragrance will especially sparkle on women that's one thing so it's more feminine i would say this is not uh, too masculine so if you are a man who enjoys wearing uh, delicate watery floral fragrances uh, you know mixed in with slight fruitiness this is not that awkward candy like fruitiness synthetic mixed bubblegum sort of accord this is quite nice it's very natural very 3d like So if you are into such fragrances you'll truly enjoy it there's also a nice fig like quality to this fragrance i mean that powdery slightly uh, vegetal uh, wet uh, flower kind of accord i get i get that with a lot of fig uh, fragrances especially the f- uh, the fig fragrance uh, from the houses like uh, profumum roma they have some intense fig based fragrances some which i actually love it it shares that fig like accord definitely but the berry note that sweet spicy uh delicious luscious fleshy kind of accord that fleshiness is what's not too appealing but to some it might be an excellent fragrance because of its high quality so would i buy a bottle of prakt no i i will not buy it even if it uh comes at a good price because it is not my taste yet i feel the fragrance is very complete very nicely done it's a lovely fragrance in fact it's it's got many positive reviews and i'm telling you it's because of the way the things have been blended the accords have been blended together it makes a very nice aura on you so when i wear this this scent on skin it's much better than wearing it on uh, you know than putting it on paper and sniffing it directly and judging it that's not the right way you have to put it on skin and on, on skin it's a much better composition because everything is just um you know all the accords have a proper amplitude nothing is too uh uh you know off anywhere so that's something which i like about prakt but that tomato leaf accord you know at the top it's it's kind of that fleshy sort of accord is really not my taste anyway 
So saddle is the one which I would wear and I would definitely get a full bottle of. Already I, I have that so luckily I don't have to spend from my own pocket but it's a very good fragrance and uh, people who love uh, these unique abstract sort of compositions with uh, character, a unique sort of character, you'll definitely enjoy it. I think with most of these uh, Swensk uh, perfumes, I have realized one thing that these are quite futuristic. These are not your usual fragrances with, um, you know, common floral accords like rose and uh, common uh, woody accords like sandalwood, cedarwood, oud, etc., etc. There's so much out there with all these with all these ingredients. These feel very light, crispy, very sophisticated, and probably suitable for the future. I mean. These are the sort of fragrances which, uh, uh, you know, slightly, um, you can say, conservative uh, societies will enjoy, where people are not too proud of wearing scents like Japan. They, the Japanese enjoy very subtle uh, aromas. They wear subtle perfumes. I think this will be an excellent um, perfume choice for people who wear such scents. I mean, these sort of populations where people do not appreciate of loud smells. So uh, it is definitely aimed towards those market. And also people who live in extreme cold climate like uh, North America and um, all these uh, Russian, uh, you know, uh, states which are up there, which get a lot of snow, Sweden, Europe, most of Europe. So these colder countries will definitely enjoy this fragrance a lot. And with saddle, there's one beautiful accord that comes out of it, which reminds me of the dry, spicy Sri Lankan ouds, uh, the Valapata oud. So if you are someone who really enjoys Sri Lankan oud and you haven't found a perfume which actually gives you that smell, uh, you'll definitely enjoy saddle because it shares that dry, spicy, cedary uh, oud accord from Valapata. And uh, probably that's the reason why I love this fragrance a lot. But that just cannot be one reason why I love this fragrance. The fragrance overall is also a very high quality and a great composition in my humble opinion. So guys, that was my review of Svens Parfum. And I'll be back with another fragrance review. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.